Hi, my name is Joshua and in this video I'm going to show you how you can force a light mode or dark mode in your payload backend. As you see here, we are in a normal payload backend, or not actually completely normal. If you have followed the last tutorial where we set a theme, this is basically where we are right now, but this approach will work for any stage or I think also any payload version at the moment. Now. We're gonna hide the setting where the user can set light or dark mode, and then we're going to force a theme. And in this case, it is always on light mode, regardless of what the user does. Also, as you can see currently, my system is on dark mode. Still, it does not affect the payload backend. Now, how, when can we achieve this? Now, here we have the unmodified payload backend. And I just want to show you really briefly how payload itself makes the light or dark mode. Because if you go into elements, you're going to see that to the HTML tag is a data theme attribute with dark. And at the moment, this backend is set on automatic. If I put it on light, it's going to be switched on light. If I could put it on dark, it's on dark. So. The only thing we really need to do is to force this to always be dark. Now let's go into our payload project. First thing we want to do is we want to add a custom provider in our payload config where we force our dark or light mode. Now first let's let me close everything we don't need at this moment. Now how can we add a custom provider? For this we need to go into the payload config and in the admin section we're going to add components and in components we have the attribute providers and here we can pass an array with providers. Now we're going to name our provider force theme provider currently does not exist but we're going to create it in a second. Let's create the file new file for theme provider.js x let's quickly create a default component and we can import it for theme provider now this provider is now applied to everything that payload renders and in here we only really need to pass through the children just Wrap them really quick, children. And we need to add a use effect. And in this use effect, we're gonna manip manipulate the DOM or manipulate the HTML tag to always set it on light or dark theme. For this, we use the effect talk, use effect. Voila. Now, and here, use document dot document element dot set attribute data theme light now if we go back you see this is now in dark mode because it's the system settings and if we reload this it should now something is not working ah uh, forgot to import the use effect now if we reload this page it is showing light mode as you see we still have the settings and if the user changes this now to dark mode it still allows the user to change something but we don't want the user to set to dark mode and if the user does not really have an option i think it's best to hide the settings all along so we know that this list here this input has the ID, wait a second, field theme. And we want to hide the parent of this. And for that, we're going to go into our styles.css styles. And we're gonna add div because the parent is a div and it has now this smaller sign do, um, ID field minus theme. And we simply want to put it on display none. Now, is that a space? If we reload now, ah, perfect, it's already gone. Now, 
we have forced our theme onto the user that we prefer or we want the user to use and we also hide the hidden have hidden the settings that concludes this tutorial if you found this useful please please subscribe or give a thumbs up or comment if you have another wish for a tutorial okay that's it for today have a nice week bye